Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. So we all know good scissors and good rotary cutters are freaking expensive. And I think they're that expensive because quality matters when it comes to cutting. And also they know that inevitably we are gonna have to repair or replace those things. And so it's like a constant cycle of buying things. <laughs> At least that's what I, my cynical side is coming out. Well, there is a trick out there that's supposed to lengthen the life of your cutting tools, whether that be your rotary blade so you don't have to replace it as often, or your scissors so that you don't have to take them somewhere and pay someone to sharpen your scissors for you. Um, so we're going to be trying this trick out today and seeing how it works. It involves um, a, a material that we all have in our kitchens tin foil. So let's give this one a go and see how it works. Okay, so I'm sure everybody and their brother has heard of this trick before, but does it really work? So I have my rotary cutter here. The blade is like totally dead, like not cutting anything at all. It's completely useless. The scissors are okay. Um, trying to see if y'all can hear how they sound. Pretty good. Let me see if I have some that are in worse shape. So the theory is, is that you're supposed to be able to run your blades through um, tin foil, heavy duty tin foil, and it should sharpen them because it's like metal against metal, I guess. So we're gonna give it a go. Okay. So we just cut that. Now, let's see. I mean, it's not a very large sample, but. Oh, actually. Okay, it's still not cutting through, but actually, no, it did nothing. <laughs> it did nothing. Let's try it again. Maybe it needs some more juice. All right, now let's try. Maybe try one layer. Okay, still nothing. Again, this guy was like completely dead though. So who knows if it was like too far gone. Nope, nothing's happening. Yeah, it's not cutting any of the threads at all. How about our scissors? We don't have much tin foil left. That actually sounds worse. <laughs> right? Doesn't that sound worse? Okay, this is going to be a trick, I'm sure. Okay, that sounds a little bit better. I'm trying to go the whole length of the blade too. I don't know guys. I'm thinking Well, I don't think it sounds better. That's for sure. I don't know. I'm not totally sold. I think that finding a um, scissor sharpener, whether that be like a kitchen store or like, I know that there are some people that just do it on the side. Yeah, I think that's actually making it worse. Like I feel resistance now. Let me clean it. Yeah, I don't know. My verdict is trick, not a treat. 
Womp, womp. What a bummer. I actually feel like using that tinfoil made my scissors worse, <laughs> which is definitely not good and not the point. It also did nothing for my rotary blade at all either. So I'm labeling this one a big fat trick. And as frustrating as it is, I'm going to continue to repurchase my rotary blades just wait for them to be on sale. And I've got to find somebody who's good at um, scissor sharpening. There's this um, kitchen store here who does it every now and again, like as charity, if you bring in like canned goods or something, but it's for knives. But I know you can bring scissors too, but it's like, are they gonna look at me weird if I bring in like, I don't know, five pairs of, <laughs> of scissors and like here, sharpen these for my cans of food. I don't know how I feel about that. I need to find somebody that actually does it. I just, it's not like those people have a website, you know, they're just like somebody you know, or somebody somebody else knows. So, I mean, I guess if you're in the Charleston area and you know somebody who sharpens scissors, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have another trick that you can try or that I could try at home for sharpening cutting tools, let me know. But unfortunately, I think this one is a no-go. So also, unfortunately, that means that this is the end of our Trick or Treat series. Um, this is the last of the videos that I had planned for this, but I had so much fun doing it. I definitely want to do it again. So let me know in the comments below any of the tricks that you've heard about that you've either tried and you know they work or that you've wanted to try but have been too afraid that you would make a big massive fail or whatever. I'll be your guinea pig and I'll try it out. Um, we can do like a part two of this series in the next couple months. Um, but check the description box. It has all the videos with links in case you missed one for some reason or you want to come back and check on this series um, in the future. All the information about the series is in the description box below, so be sure to check that out. And that is going to do it for me and this Trick or Treat series. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you all next time. Bye!